It is the 10th annual Night of Memories, and of course, as always, Don Mattingly is here. And Don, $800,000 in just nine years, probably this time next year, you go over a million dollars. You have to be really proud, especially with all that money staying right here. Oh, definitely. Uh, it's why well, you said. I hear you say ten years. It seemed like it went so fast. Uh, you know, going from the friends of friends of Bossy Field kind of into this, and uh, Paulie and his group, they do such a good job every year and promoting this. And it's almost became like a brand now. You know, I think everybody kind of knows it's coming. When's it going to be? And so people are kind of asking for it. So it's it's nice to be a part of it. Looking at Steve Carlton's numbers last night, kind of it's just hard to get your head around some of the things that he did. I mean, it doesn't get much better than Steve Carlton. No, it doesn't, and we've been really lucky and fortunate. I think, you know, we got Brooks Robinson last year. We've had Yogi out here, Harmon Killebrew. We've had some great people to come in town, and uh, I think it's, a, again, it's kind of a, it's a compliment to Paulie and, and his people how hard they work. Let's talk about uh, the Aces a little bit. You go to almost all the games. Yeah. What are your thoughts on Marty as he's in his second year? I've enjoyed it. I like it. Uh, you know, I think it's been a more exciting brand of basketball. Mm -hmm. uh, we're playing a little bit more up and down. You know, everybody likes to see that. But we play great defense, mm -hmm. and we're playing hard. We look like we're, we're getting more athletic all the time. And obviously, I think, you know, I don't know a lot about basketball, but I watch, you know, sports in general. Uh, you you got to be athletic to be able to play today. Guys can run and jump, and they're quick. And, and uh, you know, that's, that's the kind of style kids like to play. And that's how you're going to get better players, and that's what you're looking for all the time. I went to Yankee Stadium for my first time. Got to see the the monuments and talk to Michael Kay and how loved you still are. He was he was. You should have heard the soundbite he said about you. But uh, just what, some of your favorite memories of Yankee Stadium, the stadium in general. You know, always I always tell people my favorite memory. I think is that first time getting called up and driving into Yankee Stadium. The very first you know first time you you've called to the big leagues and walking down the tunnel and looking out into the stadium and just the enormity of it you know in the sea of concrete basically that you're around when you come into the city in that area and have this field there but I remember looking out into left field and the kind of the horseshoe the way the stadium is shaped and at that time I was playing left field and just uh, it was a little different than the Columbus Clippers uh, uh, one tier stadium that I just got done playing in. A little different than here in, in Evansville too. Yeah. Stereotypes New York is like type A rugged you know New York and then you go to LA it's supposed to be laid back after a year would you say it's true how would you assess the two cities? I'd say it's pretty true New York's pretty uh, uh, they're pretty intense there you know and they're, they love their teams and they're into it and uh, you know, obviously the Dodgers have a great tradition also, but it is, it's laid back, you know, it's great weather and you get used to it. You know, you wake up, it's 84, you look up, there's no clouds and you start getting used to it, you know, and New York, it's just a little different, you know, so um, it's different coast, uh, but, you know, two great cities. Talk about your run you made to the NLCS, knocking off the Cubs, way to go, thanks, yeah, but yeah. Uh, it was, a, you know, you really got on a run about, you know, around when you got there, about the midway point on. Yeah, we did. We got better, I thought. I, you know, we made a couple of big additions, and everybody talks about Manny, but Casey Blake was huge for us. He was a solid kind of veteran presence for us. He plays great defense, good at bats, intensity. Our young guys are, you know, still learning how to play this game and be in a pennant race and things like that. And then we pick up Manny, and, you know, he just catches fire, and, and our young guys love him because he's having a blast when he plays. And, and also his work ethic is so good, but people don't realize it. Our young guys are like, man, this guy's pretty good, and he works his butt off. And I wonder why he's so good. And he was really good for our young guys, too. So it was a pleasure to be there that second half. And finally, just your thoughts on uh, Joe Torre. You two have become so intertwined, and, and you think of Torre, you think of you. And I'm sure one day you want to be a manager. I didn't write that book. Joe did. No, I, and I wasn't going on. I, haven't, I do want to read it at some point. But uh, just the influence he's had on you, and when you do become a manager, what you will take away from how he handles situations whether they're good situations or bad um, with with Joe the biggest thing I think I've learned is the length of the season the season is so long there can't be any panic you got to always stay the course you always got to have a vision uh, down the road a lot of times you get caught in that day-to-day -day and you've lost four out of five or six out of eight and things don't look very good and Joe always seemed to be able to be able to look out for the light and kind of keep steering us where we need to go. And I think that's one thing I've learned is that this season is so long, there's going to be many ups and downs. Momentum changes so fast in baseball, and you just got to keep steering that ship to where you got to go. And Joe stays calm. Our team plays calm. Uh, he doesn't panic. We don't panic. We just keep working every day, keep, keep playing, keep getting ready to play, and, and that's probably the biggest things I've learned from Joe. Well, thanks so much, uh, Don Mattingly. And uh, the season starts February 14th, Valentine's Day, Pitchers and Catchers Report. Reporting with uh, Don Mattingly, Lance Wilkerson, News 25 Sports.